I recommend we could go for something like this. This is the driver market. From here, you can see pertinent details on each driver in the sport. Compare them with each other and add them to your watch list. When the contract negotiation window rolls around, this is where you will approach any drivers you wish to hire. We're in a position now where we're able to attract a new sponsor to the team. Head over to the corporate tab and select the sponsors screen to choose who we should approach. What do you think of this one? We're here again then at a circuit famous for its stunning visuals and thrilling battles for glory. Who will take the spotlight in the Bahrain Grand Prix today? There's no shortage of passing opportunities around the 3.36 miles of the Bahrain International Circuit, with the best at turn one of course, and then another soon into turn four. 15 corners here, six to the left and nine to the right, and we could see one or two flat spots into the tight left-hander of turn 10. And as always, a man with plenty of racing experience joins me in the commentary box. Today, it's Anthony Davidson. Tell me, Ant, 
you're no stranger to surviving the melee of turn one. So how do you keep out of trouble when there's so much going on around you? There are three main things to worry about there, Crofty. Positioning, awareness and discipline. First, you have to put your car in a bit of space and make sure you have room to react to what the others are doing. Then you have to watch your mirrors and listen to the sounds around you to get a sense of where everyone is. And finally, just don't get too greedy. Just because a gap exists doesn't always mean you should go for it. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he starts from pole position. And it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Sainz, Alexander Albon and Perez, Leclerc, Vettel, Stroll and Lando Norris, Ricardo, Ocon, Pierre Gasly, the rookie, Raikkonen, Fiat, Kevin Magnussen, and Nobuharu Matsushita, Giovinazzi, Grosjean, Russell, and Nicholas Latifi. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out. Then let's see who can prevail today. Top 10.
approaching the pit window, you'll be on the mediums. teammate by 3.1 seconds. This lap, push now. Go, go. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Yellow flag. Green flag. Nobuharu is coming in for a stop. is 1.7 seconds. is 8.1 seconds. They're on fresh mediums. The time last lap was a 154.4.
gap to teammate behind is 6.4 seconds. They're on fresh mediums. They're in 18th. The time last lap was a 1 minute 55.3. Position. Try to keep focus. Our gap to the car in front is 12.8 seconds. a few remaining.
Caution, caution, yellow flags ahead. No overtaking through the caution zone. Be careful until you see the greens. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Green flag. effort then to secure victory here in the desert. Talk to me, Ant. What was it that set them apart from the competition today? Well, I honestly feel it was down to the driver and car today. I mean, we can talk driver skill all day, but if you don't have a solid team to back that, you're never going to get anywhere. When you hit that sweet spot of having both an excellent driver and an incredible car, that's when you see results like those we witnessed today. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team, and they certainly deserve it. And after this round of the World Championship, here's how things look in the driver's table. More points for Valtteri Bottas, further solidifying his lead at the top of the table. Let's focus on the driver of the day. Anthony Davidson, who do you pick? I have to give it to the rookie. There was a lot going on all down the field, but they were the only one who I really felt maximised their potential. Let's move on to the constructors. Mercedes moved to the top of the table. Meanwhile, Ferrari have improved their position. A strong weekend from them as they fight their way towards the top. And with that, we wrap up another weekend of motorsport. But with more races lined up, be sure to join us when we come back with more Formula One.